Hi guys, good morning. Um, you probably hear the growling. It's a crazy day here at Camp Engelgeist. Everybody's up. They're having have had their breakfast and they're getting their exercise and out time before I have to go to work. So I am gonna hustle through this reading because until we catch our rhythm and these babies get a little bit older, um, I'm gonna be at a lack for time in the mornings, I have a feeling. So I also need to make sure that they're not getting into anything while I'm in here. So, but I do need them to move around and have fun and play so that they sleep while I'm at work. This is the broad spectrum daily reading for all signs. Um, it is meant for you when you see it rather than when it's created for. Ultimately, it is for Tuesday the 21st of September. If you're seeing it on a date that's different than that date, use the message rather than the date, right? Um, please check out the drop-down menu. There's things in there I want you to know about when using my readings. And um, support the channel by hitting that thumbs up, leaving a question or comment, or... Um, uh, joining and subscribing to the channel. So let's see what the card is for today. If I haven't said my full speech, I'm sorry, but I'm just kind of rushing around. Today is a card that I need, which is the Four of Swords. <laughs> Four of Swords is that energy of uh, swords, which is air, the intellect, communication, um, thoughts. Hi, honey, come here. With me that way, I know at least one of you is up to no good, uh, up to not getting into too much trouble. It's that idea of pulling away and taking time to clear one's head. Fours always represent that uh, space of stability and creating that for oneself. This would be a place of mental stability and clarity. We have a lot of swords energy in the beginning of this weekly reading, right? We had started with the Ten of Swords and then the Page of Swords. This could be the card that is sort of like the bridge between the two in the sense that the Ten of Swords is kind of the ending of the chapter, the completion, the dealing with that, the looking at it, the weighing it all. The Four of Swords would be the sort of taking the time to do that, right? To go inward, to clear out anybody else's opinions, thoughts, ideas about what they think about whatever it is you might be doing or how you're doing it and get concentrated solely on your own, right? Your own thoughts, how you... Um, may be communicating in your world to yourself, to those around you, what you need to communicate, how you need to communicate. All of those should be a focus and the focus should be on, uh, or your attention should be on that aspect of what's going on with your day to day and um, making sure that it makes sense to you, that it's, it's you know, um, clear and concise for you and your needs, right? Does that make sense? There's a meditation aspect, a withdrawal aspect. To me, the Four of Swords can be considered like the hermit light, right? Where we go inward, um, check in with ourselves, our thoughts, our ideas, what we're putting out there, how we're communicating, and letting, you know, that be our top priority. If anybody needs rest, if they're stressed, today's the day to give yourself that space and allow yourself that peace if you can. Um, it's up to you to sort of create it. It should bring you stability and um, a sense of clarity, which is gonna be important and what you need to um, maybe move throughout the rest of this week, right? I also think that the Four of Swords is the bridge between um, that Ten of Swords defeat kind of energy and the next card, which would be that for uh, that page of swords, which is about optimism, further inspection, uh, investigation, uh, remaining like open to change in ideas or perceptions, or again, how you communicate. So the four of swords allows you, I'm sorry, I'm giving the puppy kisses in the middle of all this. And I could just literally, I could spend all day kissing puppies. If that could be a job, please. Hi. Mm. God, it feels so good to kiss a puppy. I don't know what... I mean, kissing all dogs is good, but, like, something about kissing puppies, even though they're wonky as all get out. Mm -hmm. mm. I kiss him and he pushes his little forehead right up to my lips. It's so cute. So, so find that space for yourself today if you can. Create that space if you need to. Make sure that space is your own. And make the most of it. All right, let's sit you down for a minute. I gotta shuffle. I forgot I need to shuffle the other deck. Ah, oh, God, when you bring in puppies, it really shifts where your attention goes. It's a big shift. And every time I brought in puppies, it's done it to me. And I forget. 
and I get captivated by their cute little faces. And then I, I sort of go like, what were you thinking? Okay, so, but we'll adapt and we will get into a rhythm. As they get older too, they'll get smarter and more capable. So, let me see, don't chew anything under there. Hey, no, sorry. Leave the cord, cord alone, don't chew the cord. It was taken off with my kit. Anything. So let me see what the wisdom of Avalon wants us to know. God, they're out there like roughhousing. The two um, Frenchies, they get into it in the morning. Not bad, but they're, they have a different way of playing. Like it's very growly. And I've noticed that it is, um, it's just different than the English Bulldogs. Hey, don't get into the cords. Come here. Please don't. No, this is not a toy. Sorry, guys. So, go, go like be somewhere else. So the card is burden, and I believe that was the card for this week. So again, looking where our burdens are. Card number seven, making a conscious choice, clearing our head with that four of swords energy to look to where our burdens are. Where are we taxed? Where are we overburdening ourselves in our thoughts, in our minds, creating maybe more upset, more drama than is needed, um, more challenge than is needed. Are we doing that to ourselves? Now's the day to sort of maybe release that or let those things go. Weighing them out would be the Four of Swords energy too. Uh, becoming, I don't know, more familiar or comfortable with them uh, so that they become less heavy on us, right? Uh, making a conscious choice to turn towards them and face them. Uh, that would be the key today. This is also, don't shoot that please, this is also the theme of the week, right? The, the uh, oracle card focus of the week. So it's asking us to kind of touch base with that and look at those spaces in our lives where we may be stressed. <laughs> New mommy stresses, as they say. Um, mine would be on four legs with, you know, times two right now. Come here, dude. Don't do that. But, uh, do you know, how are we holding that in our world? Are we holding it as a burden or are we holding it as, you know, something different and so keeping that in mind let's go to the grounding stone and the grounding stone is on snowflake obsidian and the word is energy so i would say with that four of swords it would be, definitely be about a conservation of one's energy obsidian snowflake obsidian um is very much a, a stone that it's because of it's pitch black right which i love because it brings you back to sort of like a sort a depth and a basics right it brings you back to the core of something is how i view the color black right black is not necessarily a negative or a bad thing it's sort of to me a very um I don't know if it's final, but like that's kind of the idea that I'm getting from it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's very, um, it can be sometimes the depth of the soul in a weird way. Or, um, and I don't mean that like, I don't know, people oftentimes associate black with negative. I don't. I think that black sometimes is, is um, the truth in certain ways. And obsidian wards off negativity in that way. And so, um, to me, it's a very powerful stone. But what I feel like the, uh, the Four of Swords and this Burden card are telling us today, the Seven of Burden, is we need to make a conscious choice to maintain our own energy, to get to the truth of what's really going on, to peek into the blackness or the darkness or the heaviness or whatever it is we might be challenged by, and to give ourselves respite from that, to maintain or to lift up our energy, right? To keep ourselves... Um, uh, uh, healthy in a way, right? Mentally healthy, certainly with the swords energy being here, but also, um, you know, to protect ourselves in some way. If there's something out there that's a burden to us or that we're fighting against or that we feel is challenging us in a way that we can't handle, it's okay to withdraw so that we can get to the truth of the matter, so that we can ward off any negativity that may come with that, um, so that we can sort of maintain and heal our own energy. And that's kind of the perception that I'm getting from these cards today. I hope that makes sense. Sorry I'm so scattered, but the puppies are a very much a new um, part of all of this. It will get better in the days to come. So please just bear with me. Please hit the thumbs up button if you guys enjoy the reading. Um, uh, subscribe to the channel. Leave me a question or comment. Share the video out. All of that stuff helps. I greatly appreciate it. I uh, appreciate all your viewership. Thank you to my Patreon subscribers. 
um, and everybody else that comes in and watches every day. Uh, you guys are the reason why I do this channel. You guys are the reason why I get up at 4.30 in the morning every, every day to do this. <laughs> and you guys are definitely a priority in my life. Take care. Bye-bye.